Hi, it's Nancy Long, and this is video number one in a series called From Canvas to Tablet Painting. The purpose of these videos is to show you how easy it is to use the Wacom Intuos 5 digital art tablet with ArtRaid software. You certainly don't have to be a super talented artist to use this technology. We're going to begin today by painting a simple rose and saving it as a sticker to use in our final painting. Let's get started. Okay, we're going to create the canvas for our rose painting. We're going to click on File, New Painting. We're going to make this canvas a square so the width and height are going to match. Whatever size you want to make it is fine. We're going to click on Canvas and change the opacity to zero so that it's transparent. We're going to click OK, OK again, and now we have our transparent background. We're going to use the oil brush. I'm using a normal round brush. I'm going to use it kind of large and I'm going to get a darker shade of burgundy to just trace around the outside edges of the rose to make the basic shape of the petals here. I'm going to take the fill tool and just fill in the middle with dark. I'm filling it in dark so that I have some dark color to blend into. Now I got a lighter color on my brush and I'm going to just go around the edges again with this lighter shade so that I can blend it in to the darker shade. my blending tool. The blending tool is on frost and I'm going to use it at maybe around 30 percent and I'm just going to blend that lighter color down into the dark toward the center of the rose. Okay, pretty easy. Now I'm going to take the lighter color again and I'm going to get my brush. I might make it a little smaller and I'm just going to draw in the second row of petals for this rose. and then I'm going to get the blender and just blend those down toward the center again. The dark color underneath gives us depth. It gives us separation between the rows of petals. just an easy way to do this. Okay, now we're going to make the next row. Make the brush a little smaller again using that same light color and this will probably be the last row of petals that we put in before we put in that cup shape that's in the center of the rose. Taking the blender. And now I'm going to 
draw in that cup shape. And these lines are just maybe some smaller petals around it. Make the blender smaller. Okay, and now I'm going to get an even lighter color and then just define some of the edges of the petals here. Take the blender now. You see how quickly this comes together. Gonna maybe put in a little dark around the center here. Maybe give these petals a little more definition. But that's about all it takes. Just some dots in the middle. That's it. That's our rolls. We're going to save it. Go to save painting. We're going to name it. Red Rose. 
number two, click save, and now we're going to take this and we're going to export this image to a file that I named new PNGs. It's under my pictures. That's just where I put it on my computer. And I'm saving this as a PNG. Um, yes. And now I am going to go to my stickers and I'm going to click on new in my floral category which is where I want to save this rose. I'm going to go get red rose number two right here. That's the one we just painted. I'm going to name it again. And then I'm going to click OK. And there it is. Red Rose number two is saved in my sticker file and we can use it later. Well, I hope you were able to follow along and paint your rose sticker. In the next videos, we'll create some more stickers to use in our final painting. Don't forget to check out my website, nancy-long.fineartamerica.com, and I'll see you next time.